So you mentioned before, kind of being the evangelist for your games. Obviously, a lot of our, the people that listen to this will be will be gamers, and a lot of them probably will be quite quiet about that fact. How would you suggest that you know is to kind of to own what you do and not be the kind of person that's going, oh, by the way, I uh, sometimes play games and keep it quiet. <laughs> well, I mean, um, I guess a big thing is like to never. Never to like be argumentative, just to be like so happy hmm. about it, you know, because because it's really easy. Like, if someone comes up to me and and was like, "Man, Starcraft's a dumb game. Do you have like new friends or something?" Like, it's easy to be like, "What are you talking about? It's great. I have friends here. Look at my Facebook account. I have <laughs> six hundred of them." You know, yeah. Um, but instead to be, uh, if someone's like, "Yeah, you just play Starcraft." I'd be like, "Dude, Starcraft's like such a sweet game. Do you, do you play?" Like to literally sidestep whatever terrible intro they did and just go straight to the heart of it be like this game's awesome you play yeah. oh my god it's like the greatest thing ever and to just relentlessly hold the standpoint kick ass it is <laughs> and also for me I personally love trying to articulate things yeah like if I learn a cool card game I want to think of the best way to describe the rule set in like a minute so that way I can tell a story about it yeah to someone and have them experience the same awesomeness to it so i don't know if, if you're a gamer like once a day just think of some cool aspect that happened in a game and think of how would i explain that awesome thing to someone who's never done it just sort of think and mull it over and i guarantee you like five to ten minutes later you'll have a clean way of saying it mm. and then find someone and go say that to them <laughs> show it out of the yeah yeah, I like that. That'd be good. <laughs> just like a stranger, <laughs> just screaming the script. Like, push him down. Like, you played Resident Evil Four. Like, freak him out. Here's why it's good. 